Andrew Hamilton, an astrophysics professor, has been investigating what happens when matter falls inside a black hole. Using Einstein's equations, he and other scientists believe that falling into a black hole is equivalent to moving down a river and tumbling over a waterfall. Like a cosmic precipice, the outermost region of the black hole, the event horizon, is where space itself flows relentlessly in. Well, what does one mean by space falling or, or doing anything? It, it's just that if you put objects in space, then they will move in certain ways. And if you put objects near a black hole, as they approach the horizon, inevitably they must approach the speed of light in order to stay at rest. Otherwise, they're going to fall inside the horizon. If the black hole is spinning, the central region is bounded by what's known as the inner horizon. In a case defined only by Einstein's equations, an object may whip around so fast it gets flung outward. If there's nothing inside the black hole except the space-time structure itself, or the, there's nothing inconsistent about having space fall inside, turn back around and come back out again because space has no substance, so there's no problem with it moving through itself. It would be like a river racing over the falls, hitting the rocks below, then flowing back up. In the strange world of general relativity, you fall in through a region, a black hole region, where space was falling faster than light. And now space has turned around and is now pushing you outward faster than light. Imagine charting a starship's course into this topsy-turvy realm. If you survive the fall down to the event horizon, you'd accelerate through it. You go with the flow, you hit the speed of light at the horizon. Now, you can still see stuff from the outside world, even when you're inside the horizon, but people can't see you because space is falling faster than light. To understand the chaotic region within, Hamilton has enlisted Einstein's equations in a project to visualize the black hole's inner anatomy. You could only get this close on a spaceship propelled by pure mathematics. Passing through the event horizon, we approach the central zone. As we whip around, we are flung out of a kind of cosmic tunnel known as a wormhole. At its end, we pass through what's known as a white hole. Like characters in a science fiction story, we exit into another time or place, perhaps another universe. This strange passage is the work of theory. In reality, it couldn't form amid all the turbulence. The moment you introduce any real matter, then the stuff that's trying to fall in tends to collide with the stuff that's coming back out again. There's a turbulent, chaotic maelstrom deep down inside the black hole. In a waterfall, this collision zone is where water crashes on the rocks and ricochets into the downward flow. Here, turbulence rises all order disappears. In a black hole, the collision zone is the inner horizon where swirling matter envelops the central core. That's the end of the line for a starship. 
it gets instantly vaporized. The chief characteristic of this region near the inner horizon is that streams of energy are passing through each other. And they're passing through each other very rapidly. That counterstreaming of material begins to build up to the point where it self gravitates. And that gravity accelerates those streams even faster through each other. In the gentle world we know, the energy released by gravity quickly dissipates. Whatever crashes down settles into a state of rest. Inside a black hole, the energy does not dissipate. Instead, it builds on itself, rising to an extreme state known as the Planck density. To grasp what that is, imagine taking all the matter we can see with our telescopes, all the trillions upon trillions of stars that make up all the galaxies in the universe, and crush it down to the size of a marble. No, don't stop there. Keep going. Crush it all the way down to less than the size of an atom. That is a Planck density. And that's the kind of density that is produced inside a black hole. It's the most extreme place in our universe outside the Big Bang. 